Hi, teachers' brains. I want to share with you the new digital build a jack o' lantern writing activity where the students can write about if their jack o' lanterns came to life. They can also build their jack o' lantern. If you look at this one, this is an example of what somebody has already built. They can go in and add any kind of the face fixtures and make the jack-o'-lantern look however they want and then they will write a story about how their jack-o'-lantern came to life. So the first thing that students are gonna do is they will first choose a background. So let me show you, there's several backgrounds that students can choose from. And once they get to this part, this is where they would choose what eyes do they want, what nose they would want, and what mouth they would want. And all they have to do is right click on it, copy, go up to the one background that they wanted to use. And what you could do if you don't want to give them that many choices, you can erase and delete the pages that you don't want them to be able to choose from. That goes for the pieces also. If you don't want them to have that many pieces to choose from, you want less, you can also delete those. And then they would go back to this slide, copy, right click, copy, go back to the page that they wanted, paste on, the eyes move them, they can make them smaller if they want to. And this one's a cool one because it has three of them since it's what happens when you can they can do a story whether or not it's one jack-o'-lantern that comes to life or maybe there's more than one that come to life. Then they can go and they can pick eye patch, bats, hats to add to their jack-o'-lantern to give it more of a personalized feel. And they can turn these. They could also go in and use the shape tool. Let's say that they wanted to use a heart instead and they can change the color and put it wherever they want to. I'm gonna delete that one for now. And then right here, they're gonna be able to add the text box. The text box is included. It'll say edit in it though. And then they can start writing whatever they want about their jack-o'-lantern. Now, let's say you want the kids to do more writing than just this small area. You could have them, you could assign them this one or this one, have them build their jack-o'-lantern, and then they could go down here and they could edit and say, what is their jack-o'-lantern like? Maybe their jack-o'-lantern is a pirate and they can type the different words to describe their jack-o'-lantern. And then they're gonna write some ideas about a jack-o'-lantern, how it comes to life, describe it, where did it happen, when did the story take place, what happens when it comes to life. They can organize their thoughts. If there's one board that you like better than another, pick one and delete the other. Or you can let the student choose which, which one that they would like to use to organize their thoughts. And then here they will be able to go in and they can write my jack. And of course they can highlight, they can make this bigger, they can change the font, they can put it right in the middle here. And they can write their story using their frame. So if you wanted to do more, you could. Also, another great thing, the reason I made these black and white is because maybe you want your students to build their jack-o'-lantern or you can give them a blank piece of paper and have them draw their jack-o'-lanterns. And then these you can easily print out for them to use in class or if you want to make them do handwriting. And the last slide you can just delete before you push it out to your students. I hope this answers your questions about this new resource and I hope your kids have a blast building a jack-o'-lantern and telling us all how it comes to life.